Hola de nuevo! Welcome to audio number eight in the vocab builder for Victor's Adventures in Spain, Las Aventuras de Victor en España. Um, we're going to go whizzing from E right the way through to G. Okay. Bueno. Entonces, first word is interview. Now, the word for interview in Spanish is entrevista. Entrevista. Okay? Which is a direct translation of the word interview. Okay? Inter, entre, okay, between, and then view, vista. Now, you'll have seen vista, uh, vista is a computer, um, uh, one of the, the things like Windows, yeah? Computer program. Vista. Now, if Vista had an interview before it was launched, it would never have been launched because it was rubbish. Okay, so entre vista. So vista is view, okay, and entre is inter. So entre vista, interview. Okay, because you have to enter into the interview, don't you? Entre vista. Okay, next one is Spain. Spain is España. España. So imagine the map of Spain being like a nut. Yeah? And imagine having a big spanner and turning Spain around with a spanner, España. Okay? Unlocking Spain with a spanner, España. Excellent. And then Spanish, which is Español. Okay? Lots of people get them mixed up. So, Spain is Hispana, España. Okay, and Spanish is Español. Okay, and so I want you to, it sounds like Español, doesn't it? Español. So, imagine enormous, giant, giant, monster Spaniel running around Spanish speaking countries, running around the whole of Latin America. Okay. Español. Okay. And the all speak Español in Spain. Next one is a stay. A stay. Now, what I mean by that is when you say, I'm going to have a stay in Mexico. Yeah. It's a period of time in a place. A stay. And the word for that is estancia. Estancia, okay? So, stay here, estand here, estand here, stand here, estancia. I'm going to have a stay here, I'm going to stand here for a while, estancia. So imagine you're just standing there, here, standing here, estancia. Okay? Next one, easy this one. Station is Estación o estación. Okay? So it's just station. Estación, estación with an E on the front. You understand that when a word begins with an S and then is followed by a consonant, that's anything but a vowel. Okay, that's B, C, D, F, G. Spanish speakers can't say the word they like that. They must put an e in front of it. So, for example, that's why they can't say España, España, Español. Okay. And when you hear Spanish speakers talking in English, they'll say, for example, I hear them often say, "I, I am, I am from Spain, Spain." It's very difficult for them to say "sp" or "st." Okay. So this is why lots of the words that we would normally say "sp" or "st," they don't. They have to say "e." Eh. Estación. Estación. So it's virtually the same, isn't it? Looking for a station. Next one. Estudiante. Same, same principle. Estudiante. Student. Okay, student is estudiante. So it's virtually the same as well. Okay. Estudiante. Student. Next. Feliz. 
or Felix. No, not Felix. Feliz. Or Feliz. Okay, well, I'm thinking of Felix. Okay, Felix the cat was happy. All right. Feliz or Feliz is happy. Okay, it's, we've done contento. Well, Feliz is the same. Okay, so think of Felix the cat. He was always happy, wasn't he? Feliz, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. It's a song. Okay, as you probably guessed. Next one. Fenomenal. Phenomenal. Fenomenal. Okay, so the same word. It's just emphasis is on right on the end. Can you hear it? Fenomenal. All right, we, we say phenomenal. So it's phenomenal. So that just means phenomenal, wonderful, excellent, brilliant. Okay. And then we've got people. People, the word, one of the word, well, people is the word gente, gente. Okay, gente. Now, um, that word in English, we have words like gentleman and we have gentry, okay? So, gente, so imagine the British gentry all dressed up normally, they normally got red jackets and white trousers and go and kill foxes. Okay, the gentry. So imagine the de gentry, all those people there, okay? Gente, gente, so it's, you've got to get that If you can't get the okay, you do it with an H sound, gente, all right? Never gente, so it's always gente or gente, okay? And some of the, some of the Latin American countries, that, that, the J or the G with the E is softer, so it's gente, okay? Bien. Next one, thanks, thank you. Gracias, gracias. Okay, and even when I was a child, the jokes used to come out about um, f you fall down on the grass and you've got a gracias. Okay, so just imagine, thank you, thank you for telling me I've got a gracias. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Okay, so there we are. That's taken us through to G. Now let's check to see whether you've remembered, okay? You know, it really doesn't matter um, how how you remember. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be serious. It, you know, even me just telling a story about something helps you to log it into place, helps to fire off the neurons. So don't, you know, don't expect too much from the system. This is just a a silly way of getting the words logged in. If you can think of a better way, get them in. Do that. It doesn't really matter, okay? There's no hard and fast rule of how to do this. It's just being silly or just saying silly things and it seems to it seems to log it in for you. Alright, so what about this word then? Entrevista. Entrevista. So an inter entre vista view. Interview. Hmm. And this one, España, España, that's right, Spain being unlocked with the Spanish, unlocking the cultural aspects of Spain with the Spanish, okay, and then Español, Español. Now, right now, you should be imagining a giant spaniel roaming around Spanish-speaking countries. Okay, because it's Spanish. Next. Estancia. Estancia. You stand here and stay. So, estancia is stay. Mm -hmm. Estación. Estación. Sounds virtually the same. Station. Remember that they can't say estación. They have to say estación because S with a consonant. Okay. Estudiante. Estudiante. 
A student, exactly. You're getting good at this now, aren't you? Okay. What about this one? Feliz. Or feliz. Happy, happy. And you hear that with um, uh, feliz cumpleaños, feliz navidad, happy birthday, happy Christmas. Yeah. We say merry, they say happy. Okay. What about this one? Fenomenal. Fenomenal. Well, it's the same word, isn't it? Phenomenal, wonderful, excellent, brilliant. Top of the shop. Um, luego, gente. Gente. Starts with G-E. Gentry. People, basically. That's how you remember it. The, the gentry going off to kill foxes. People. And then, gracias. Gracias. Thank you. And thank you for um, following me through this journey. I hope you're learning. And I'm, I'm sure you are learning uh, many more words. Maybe some of them you already knew and maybe some of them are new. That's great. Okay, entonces, nos vemos en el próximo. Hasta luego.